All right, we got a 231J transfer case <clears throat> out of a Jeep. This is a carry-in. I have no idea what it's supposed to be doing. Um, customer brought the transmission and the transfer case together. In fact, the transmission sitting over there. There's a video on it. There's no lube going to the back end of the tranny. It totally wiped it out. Can't even get the output shaft out of the case. Uh, he wanted the transfer case gone through at the same time. Uh, so we're just going to open it and see what we got. Um, I guess we'll just get going. The front flange here is an inch and an eighth. I've been having a hard time here lately. I've been getting a lot of water. Not very happy about that. It's very hard on my tools. Inch and a sixteenth on the vacuum switch. Ten millimeters on the front cover here. couple cutouts on the, each side of this you can get in there and kind of pop this cover off snap ring on the front here millimeter 12 point and these here are 10 millimeters these are 15s and the rest of these are 15s and it's going to be right in the way 13 millimeter our speedometer we need to pay attention to how it's turned uh, we can there is a way to tell which way it goes but make it quicker we can just Pay attention to how it's in there and that's how we can put it back if it was on the correct tooth count to begin with I'm on let go It's 30 tooth and it was lined up correctly. this so that it's easy to line up when we go back.
here, right? Not going to let go. And we have a snap ring back here. Somebody's put it in upside down, so it may be getting getting it off may be fun. Not too bad, but it is definitely upside down. The short end of the taper should be pointing this way. So definitely somebody's been in here before. Our bearings okay. This is our pump here. It's going to have to come off with the case half. We have two bolts that have washers on them. They go where the dowel pins are. And I believe that one's in the wrong spot. It was in the right spot. Right. Our filter. Make sure our bearing in our case is okay. Usually they are. Got a spring here. This whole assembly is going to come out with the fork and everything. Ouch. Alright, I'm looking good there. Usually what goes bad is the fork pads and then if you keep driving it then it starts taking out other things. But everything looks okay there. There's no need to take all this apart unless it's bad and we can sit here and we can look at the teeth on here make sure that they're okay and they are. Everything's turning freely and it's not grinding. There's probably nothing wrong in there. Probably nothing wrong at all with this thing. I'm going to have to take the Phillips out of here. And we're just going to look for scoring on the gears. Well, it is scored up. Really much, not much need in taking that apart. It's going to need a pump. So I'll get a pump for it. going to make sure all of our teeth where the slider goes in is okay. All of our pinions are okay. We can take it apart. Really not much need to. It looks okay. Our 
washers are okay. Everything's looking good there. There's a ring gear back here. It's held in with the snap ring. Some of these will come out, some won't. Uh, this one's okay. I don't really need to take it out. I don't think we even need any bearings. We're just going to need a seal kit for this. Clean up our magnet. Alright. So it looks like we just need a seal kit and a pump for this thing and we should be good to go. All right, we'll be back on the rebuild. I know he's definitely going to want it done because the transmission's already built so I know he'll want this done. We'll be back. <laughs> 